Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Math and Physics Fun with Gus. Today, we're going to talk about the divergence theorem and why it works. So, the goals of the video, quickly talk about flux and what it means, then relate that to just what this integral itself means. Then we're going to talk about divergence of a field. Then we're going to say, let's approximate this, where it's a point, to some infinitesimal like square. And then we're going to sum them up. And then we're going to do a practice question. So let us start. Flux usually is denoted by capital Phi. And that's basically if you have some surface, right? It's a measure of how much field penetrates that surface. So if you have some field that looks like this, it would tell you how much of this field penetrates the surface. Um, so in this case, we have a closed surface integral, which means if you want to get inside the surface, so you just want to go inside. You have to penetrate the surface. And that's when you can use the divergence theorem. So um, to start, let us now look at divergence of a field. Big red. So this is called a source. Basically, the divergence um, is positive. You have some point, and you have some field leaving the point. Here you have, basically, you have these vector lines are the same as these. The same amount enters a point as leaves a point, and that's when the divergence is 0. This is a sink. Um, the divergence is negative because it's entering the point. This is just a small amount, a square. You have, this is, um, it's entering the a square, and this is leaving the square. If these are the same, you'll get this case, right? So the divergence is zero. Um, if, say, this one is bigger than this one, so like this, then, well, it's positive, right? You have more leaving. And if it's smaller, then you have negative, and that's leaving. Now let's sum up a bunch and see really why why it's going to work to give us a flux. Again, a flux is how much penetrates the outer parts of a surface, right? So this is really extremely exciting. We're almost there. So you have some, some field penetrates a square, right? Right here. Then you have, again, it leaves a square. But then, at the same time, it enters another square, right? Enters another square. And then leaves all right the square and then again enters another square right away right because this is the same line and then again leaves so these right this is leaving here positive entering this box negative and they cancel right so if you sum up this one and this one this will cancel then again here bam leaving positive entering negative again cancel the same thing is going to happen here right bam cancel and here so we're integrating this amount over the volume Right, which is what we're doing here. Right, if you in another dimension, you go up. Same thing applies. Right, so you're gonna be end up with how much field is penetrating the surface, which is so cool because that's that's what this is saying. You can find the flux through a triple integral, a volume integral, of the divergence. Right, which is what we saw here. Right, of the field. So now that we understand that, let's do a practice question. I mean, there's not much more to the divergence theorem. It's really really cool. Um, very excited. So we're going to calculate the flux. I'm going to denote, we're going to talk about flux as capital phi usually denoted of this field, cube n. This is the cube of radius a. So let's start. Um, we want to say that the flux is equal to this of f dotted with the normal. I mean, again, to, to do this integral, we'd have to take well, the field in this direction dotted with the normal in the direction, which is be y hat. Then we'd have to do this one, right? And there's six sides. So we have to do six surface integrals, right? Divergence theorem tells you is no, 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 right? I don't want to do six integrals. You don't have to. You can just do triple integral over a surface that's enclosed, right? In this case, it is of del, right? Of the divergence of the field. In this case, the field is V over the volume, right? Now, this is obviously simple integral to do in Cartesian, right? So first, let's compute the divergence of the field. So the divergence of the field V, the inner product of the partials. Okay, so that is the um, divergence of the field V. Now let's set up our, our integral. So we have, well, um, X is less than or equal to A, less than or equal to zero, and then the same thing for Y and T. Bam. So now, so now let's, let's set up our integral. We're gonna have a triple integral. And then, well, it's 4. 
x plus y plus z, and then we'll dv. So we have dx, dy, and dz. And this integral uh, it's kind of annoying to do. It's not bad, right? So we're going to get um, So this is this is the flux. Is this not cool? So uh, that's all for the video today.